نكمل our mechanics lab in STEM world. This experiment will presented by Sibat Dariti, Sama Sayed, and me, Judy Hassan from grade 10. This experiment purpose to prove when the force is constant uh, applied on the car, it will move in constant acceleration. To do this experiment, we have the motion sensor and the smooth pulley that we have put on the dynamic motion track. Here we have the bus car which is connected to the hunger using the light stream. And here we have the box of mass. Here we have the motion sensor which is ranged between 20 cm to 80 cm and we connected it to the interface using the Pascal Capstone app on the top. Now we will open Pascal Capstone app and press on hardware setup to check the connectivity of the motion sensor. Then we will display two graphs. First the graph. First graph will be velocity time graph and the second one will be acceleration time graph. Now we have already added 5 grams on the hanger and adjusted in the pulley and we will record our first trial. Please press record. Stop. And in the second trial we will add 100 grams in the fast core. This time please record. Stop. Also, in the third trial, we will add 100 grams. This summer, stop. In the last trial, we will add 50 grams in the fast court. This summer, press record. Stop. Now, we are going to do the analysis uh, by Judy. Okay, let's see the constant acceleration. Here, in acceleration time graph, we selected a region from 0 0.4 to 1.3. And here in velocity time graph, we selected the region from 0 0.4 to 1.3. Let's get the acceleration is 0 0.32 and here the slope is 0 0.34. So the two numbers are approximately equal. Let's see the second trial. We selected also the region from 0 0.6 second to 1.5 second and here from 0 0.602 to 1.5 to 1.5 also so uh, let's get the acceleration is 0 0.24 and here let's get the slope is 0 0.24 so the two numbers are also approximately equal in the third trial we also selected the region from 0 0.5 to 1.9 and here from 0 0.5 to 1.9 so let's get the acceleration is 0 0.19 and here the slope is also the point 19 so the two numbers are also approximately equal in the last trial we also selected the region from 0 0.7 to 1.5 and here from 0 0.7 to 1.5 let's get the acceleration is 0 0.17 and here the slope is 0 0.19 and also they are approximately equal so we see that the acceleration is usually equal and now our experiment is done. At the end of this video, we hope you enjoyed this experiment with us and goodbye! Bye.